Welcome to a video on Wallace's formula to determine definite integrals involving powers of sine or cosine on the interval from 0 to pi over 2. So these formulas allow us to easily evaluate the definite integrals of powers of sine or cosine on the interval from 0 to pi over 2. And these are really quite amazing formulas. It states here that if n is greater than or equal to 3, then this definite integral is equal to 2 thirds times 4 fifths so on all the way out to n minus one over n. And the product of these fractions will give us the value of this definite integral. Notice the numerator is a sequence of even whole numbers all the way out to n minus one, and that the denominator is the sequence of odd whole numbers all the way out to n. If n is even and greater than or equal to two, then this definite integral is equal to one half times three fourths all the way out to n minus one divided by n times pi over two. So again, if n is even, notice that the numerator now is a sequence of odd whole numbers all the way out to n minus one, and the denominator is now a sequence of even whole numbers all the way out to n. Then we have to multiply this product by pi over two. Now these formulas are only showing cosine to the power of n, but it's also true for sine to the power of n. While this result is quite amazing, the proof is not shown here, but would require integration by parts and proof by induction. Let's go and just take a look at a couple examples, and then we'll verify it with the graphing calculator. Okay, so the first thing we should notice here is we have the interval from zero to pi over two, and next we only have cosine, and it's raised to the power of four. So we'll use Wallace's formula when n is even and greater than or equal to two. So in this case, n is equal to four, so this def integral is going to equal one half times three fourths. And notice that this three is n minus one, so we're gonna stop here. And also notice that the denominator stops at n, which is equal to four. And then we're gonna multiply this by pi over two. So this def integral is equal to three pi over 16. Let's go ahead and convert that to a decimal and then we'll check this on the graphing calculator. So there's the decimal value of three pi divided by 16. And now let's go ahead and check this def integral. If we press math option nine, our integrand was cosine to the fourth x. Comma x comma zero comma pi over two. And as you can see, the result is the same. And again, the decimal value was approximately 0.589. So again, to me, it is truly amazing that it's so easy to evaluate this def integral, given that we've been practicing so many different techniques to evaluate integrals involving powers of sines and cosines. Let's go and take a look at another example. Again, this is only true on the interval from zero to pi over two. And now notice we have a power of sine but remember, it's also true for sine, even though the formulas were only given in terms of cosine. So now n is equal to seven. So n is odd and greater than or equal to three, so we'll apply this formula here. So if we take a look at these fractions. Notice the numerators are gonna start at two and go out to n minus one, and the denominators start at three and go out to n. So we'll have two-thirds times four-fifths times six-sevenths, and now we'll stop because n is seven, so our numerator is now six and our denominator is now seven, so this product will equal the value of this definite integral. Looks like we'd have 48 over 15 times seven, that's 105. Let's go ahead and convert this to a decimal and then check it on the graphing calculator. So this is approximately 0.457. Let's go ahead and check this using the integration tool on this calculator. Math option nine, our integrand is, our integrand is sine to the seventh x. And again, the result is the same. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you can make use of Wallace's formulas for integrating
powers of sine and cosine on the interval from zero to pi over two.